the efficiency of an air conditioner is rated in different standards and different types of air conditioner have different energy efficiency. Mini Split is well known for their good energy efficiency. If you are thinking to buy a new Mini Split, how do you know which Mini Split is more efficient? And you, welcome to Aircon Lounge. Today, we are going to talk about Mini Split efficiency. First of all, what is efficiency for air conditioner? Efficiency is basically output divided by input. That means how much power an air conditioner uses to produce a cooling. The cooling power of an air conditioner is known as the capacity. This is the BTU that we always talk about. The capacity of an air conditioner not just expressed in BTU. In some places, kilowatt is also used to represent the capacity of an air conditioner. The BTU is the imperial unit and the kilowatt is the metric system. Other than BTU and kilowatt, ton of refrigeration and horsepower is also a form of unit of measurement for capacity. As for mini split, the capacity by default is rated in BTU and the power input for the mini split is rated in terms of watt. So efficiency is output divided by input. So for a mini split, there's BTU over the wattage. By doing so, you get the efficiency in terms of EER, energy efficiency ratio. If we convert the power input from watt to kilowatt, and we use kilowatt as the cooling capacity as well, then we divide kilowatt by kilowatt, then we get the universal COP, coefficient of performance. COP and EER is sort of the universal way to rate not just a mini split but across different kinds of air conditioner. The cooling capacity and the power input of an air conditioner is rated in what we call the AHRI test condition. The AHRI is an institute that set a test condition to test a mini split so that everyone have the same playing field. The AHRI test condition set a specific indoor and outdoor temperature and test the mini split. However, in seasonal country, the outdoor temperature fluctuates. So, SCER is born. SCER rate and mini split based on different outdoor air temperature. When a mini split is tested for its SCER value, it undergoes a set different air temperature that simulate a cooling season. So it is a more accurate representation of the actual efficiency of a mini split when used in seasonal country. Similarly, for HSPF, also the same. It also has a very air temperature that simulates a heating season of a mini split. So, when a mini split has a SCER and HSPF value, it is better to use SCER value to compare the cooling efficiency and HSPF value to compare the heating efficiency. However, other types of air conditioner such as window air conditioner and portable air conditioner, they don't have SCER or HSPF value. So, if you want to know whether a mini split is more efficient than window or portable air conditioner, you can simply look at their EER value. All air conditioner has a EER value. Most of the mini splits sold today are AHRI certified. With a AHRI certified mini split, you can find the AHRI reference number and counter check whether the certificate is valid or not at the AHRI directory. The efficiency of a mini split is not a fixed value. It will affect by several factors. The first factor that affects the efficiency of a mini split is the weather. As mentioned earlier, the outdoor temperature will affect the efficiency of a mini split. In order for a mini split to cool your room, it must bring the heat inside the room and reject it outside. But 
if the outdoor air temperature is high, it is more difficult for the outdoor unit to reject heat. Thus, the energy efficiency will drop. The mini split will run longer and harder and your electricity consumption will increase. So for heating, the mini split must extract heat from outside and bring it inside. If the outdoor air temperature is too low, then that means there's not much heat the mini split can extract. Thus, the performance or the efficiency will drop. That's why although mini split heat pump can work in cold climate, but if the temperature drop too much, the mini split will suffer and there's not enough warm air producing and people will complain there's not enough heating. One tip here when buying a mini split for primary for heating purpose is to check the capacity not at 47 degree Fahrenheit but at 17 degree Fahrenheit. Mini split that undergo the AHRI certification is tested in three different conditions. The first one is for cooling capacity. It is tested at 95 degree Fahrenheit outdoor temperature. So there's one cooling capacity. For heating capacity, there's two heating capacity and two condition. One condition is the standard condition, 47 degree Fahrenheit outside air temperature. Then there's another condition is 17 degree Fahrenheit outside air condition. So there's two heating capacities. So if you're looking for a mini split heat pump that does very well in cold climate, not only you must select a cold climate mini split, you must also check the heating capacity at 17 degree Fahrenheit. Because although a mini split is rated for cold climate, its heating capacity may drop too much when the outside air temperature starts to drop. So when you reach the temperature you want it to work, it produces insufficient heating capacity. For people living in the cold climate and want to use a mini split to heat their house, I'll do a detailed video on how to select the right mini split for cold climate applications. Apart from outside air temperature, the cooling or heating load itself will affect the performance and the electricity consumption of a mini split. Although a mini split is efficient on its own, if the load, that means if the heat within the room is a lot, then the mini split have to run constantly at high load to reject all the heat and in the end, your electricity consumption will be high. So some of the cooling load or heating load that we are talking about is people, right? We emit radiation, we emit the heat. So mini split might bring this heat outside. So inside a room, if there is more people, the mini split will work harder. Apart from that, electrical appliances also add in heat. For example, your printer, your computer, your server. If you are using a gaming computer, you don't underestimate the heat produced by the CPU. So that is something that will affect the power consumption of a mini split. Other than that, hot air infiltration is another major way to introduce heat. That means you are not closing the door or window when you want to cool the room. That's a way to bring more load to the mini split and increase your power consumption. The other thing that will affect the power consumption of a mini split is a lack of maintenance it means the dirty filter and dirty coil these are the basics right it not just apply to a mini split but also across uh, many other types of air conditioner another thing quite overlooked is the position of a mini split for example if you're a wall mounted unit like the one behind me if you install it too high up the ceiling that means too close to the ceiling there's not enough gap for the return air so the efficiency will drop as well or if you locate the outdoor unit in a crawl space, it's a cramped space, not enough ventilation, right? The surrounding air temperature will increase. And as we said, if the surrounding air temperature is increased, the heat rejection process is more difficult. So the efficiency will drop. And if you are using a ducted mini split, right? So you risk a duct leakages. So those also affect the overall performance of a mini split. And lastly, if the refrigerant charge into the mini split system is too much or too less, it also affect the efficiency of the mini split. So when comparing a mini split, we take the SCER and HSPF value and compare 
another mini split with the same capacity. So for example, two 9,000 BTU uh, mini split, which one has the higher SCR value? Of course, often you find high SCR mini split is more expensive because they are the premium model. The range of a mini split efficiency can start from somewhere around 14 SEER up to 30 or even 35 SEER. The cheapest model of a mini split is somewhere around 17 or 16 SEER. As for the standard model, it's around 20 or 22. Then we go to the high efficiency, maybe it's around 24 to 26. Then the premium ones up to 30. So that's all for this video. I hope you now know better about efficiency and mini split. So if you want to learn more about mini split, go to my website, I have tons of articles on mini split and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more mini split content coming up. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.